What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rise. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I really wanted to wait for this and I said in my live stream earlier today, only a few hours ago that I knew that the Tonali would leak and then I was surprised it didn't already. And here we are, the Alfa Romeo Tonali official video images, all that stuff has leaked on the French Stellantis website. There's a lot of videos actually that had leaked, but those were harder to get a hold of. Uh, the one promotional video was the easiest to get a hold of, but they're all over the place on public websites from the Stellantis site. So somebody, I don't know, I don't know what happened here, but somebody messed up and they put it all over the place. And now I can't help but to post a video about it because everybody else is posting about it. So here we are. The first official images and video of the Tenali has been leaked that will be officially presented tomorrow. Now, as expected, the production model is very similar to the concept car unveiled nearly three years ago at the 2019 Geneva Motor Show. This was already understood by the spy photos and the camouflage prototypes that we have seen in recent months. Now, the same number one from the Alpha car manufacturer has anticipated that there will be changes compared to the concept car, but not as radical as one could imagine. So the interior of the Alfa Romeo Tonale has been unveiled finally. And again, there aren't too many changes from the mock-up prototype that we've seen years ago. The characteristic shape of the dashboard has been maintained with the display of the digital gauges hidden in tubes only the screen of the Uconnect multimedia system appears to be mounted slightly differently. Now, the biggest news regarding the Alfa Romeo Tonale is that the model gets made to measure engines. Now, this is the biggest surprise of this car. The Tonale gets new drive units developed especially for the model. Of course, they are not made from scratch, but they derive from engines already used in models such as the Jeep Compass and Renegade. However, the engines have been optimized with Alfa Romeo in mind. So we have the choice between two soft hybrids, which will offer 130 and 160 horsepower. And power is generated here by the supercharged 1.5 liter engine, which is coupled to a small electric unit and a 48 volt installation. Now these units are equipped with the front wheel drive seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. But the interesting fact is the plug-in hybrid version. This is a version developed specifically for this car, which shouldn't have much in common with the hybrid Jeep 4XE. And the differences can't be seen with the naked eye. The maximum power here reaches 275 horsepower and the power is transferred to all four wheels thanks to the Q4 drive where the rear axle is driven by an electric unit. Now the nine speed automatic transmission has been replaced by a classic six speed automatic with a battery of a capacity of 15.5 kilowatts. It was developed with this car in mind and the operation of the entire system has been specifically optimized. Thanks to this, the autonomy should reach up to 80 kilometers. Now in Europe, the Alfa Romeo Tonale will offer a 1.6 liter diesel with 130 horsepower, while overseas you'll find a two liter supercharged gasoline engine which serves 260 horsepower. And get this, there will only be two trim levels of the Tonale range, Super and TI, but the brand thus continues the tradition and simplifies the range. So these variants can be equipped with two packages. For the Super version, you can get the Sprint package, and for the TI version, you can get the Veloce package. Each trim will offer appropriate equipment and a number of visual additions. So it was a little bit different than what we thought. Now, what I was really surprised about is the launch color in Masano blue, actually, over a red of some kind. Now, with that said, we also get green or a verde shade, which I'm not exactly sure what the actual shade is called yet. We'll get a lot more of the Alfa Romeo Tonale coming up, like these colors, the options, and everything else as the days go by and we get the full live stream revealed in just less than 24 hours. But with that said, what do you guys think about the first look? of the new Alfa Romeo Tonale before we really were supposed to see it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we can have a bigger discussion on a new Alfa Romeo Tonale. Now with that said, if you guys wanna help further support the channel, always check the links down below. I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, and my Venmo, just in case you guys wanna donate a dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate the love and support. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch in case you guys want long sleeve shirts, hoodies, stickers, Kango hats, backpacks, everything Ron's Rise is there. I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. So everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo that doesn't always make it here to the channel. Now make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.